Alright, I'm going to show you how to make a uh, ACOM today. Um, all you need is pretty much what you see. Two wires for connecting to the Digivice, a Arduino, breadboard, and two resistors. The best pairing of resistors that we know of right now are 5.6K and 3.9K. You can use other pairings. Uh, you can find them on the Alpha Terminal website. Um, the other one that people use a lot are 4.7 and 3K. Um, those ones do have some issues right now that we're seeing with uh, original devices. But so far with the 5.6 and 3.9K, um, I haven't had any issues at all. That's what I use whenever um, doing my alpha comms. But I'll show you this part and then we'll go over to the computer and I'll show you how to program it with the Arduino IDE and use the alpha terminal and the Arduino uh, uh, serial com. So we'll just go ahead and get into it. Uh, you'll want to buy a uh, Arduino. Uh, I'll put it the specific one. I can't remember what it's called offhand. I think it's a Arduino Nano. Um, you want to buy one of those with the legs pre-installed. Uh, it's very helpful, especially since you're wanting to do it without soldering most likely. Uh, this one is missing most of its legs. I only have ones that I need for keeping it positioned. Um, but I'll demonstrate that you only that you'll only need three of the pins. So you'll want to take the breadboard, and I like to put mine um, first leg on the H, starting at one on there. So then your A2 and A3 pins, which are needed are on 6 and 7. So it'll make it a bit easier. And you'll want to take your 3.9K resistor and you'll want to put it between you'll want to just shove it in to where it locks in. It should be pretty easy. This may, the, the Arduino might take a little bit of pressure to push in but just push it down in. And you'll want to link that to A from A2 to A3. And you want to kind of move it over just a bit to get it out of the way. And then you want to take your 5.6K resistor and put it between 7 and 14. That is A3 to ground. So after that, You'll take your data cord, your data cable, and you'll put it at pins at, at mark seven, where the A3 is. I'm not using the right cables for this. But uh and then you'll take your ground pin or, or wire and put it at 14 or ground. And that's all you have to do for putting it together. Um, on a digivice, you'll want to connect the, the front pin where the screen is. That one is the data, so that will be in this case the red that comes from A3. And the black wire will go on the back for ground. You can shove them on the sides or inside next to it for a good connection, or you can just hold them down on top. And that will give you a connection to your Digivice. And that will need to be, need to be held down when getting the codes or sending codes. So we'll go ahead and move over to uh, the computer. And I'll show it to you. And for all these parts, I'll list Amazon links to them. There are cheaper places where you can buy them individually. Um, but Amazon is an easy place to get from a lot of countries, I think. I'm in America, so I usually order from, from Amazon. But I'll put links to those. So let's go ahead and head over to the computer. All right, now that we're at the computer, we can go through the rest of it. Uh, the first step you'll want to do is go to the arduino.cc uh, website and go to the software and then downloads. Once there, you can download the Arduino IDE for the, you, the computer or the operating system that you use. Um, this part of setting up doesn't require any particular operating system. Um, so, I'm showing you on Windows, so we'll go ahead. I already downloaded the uh, Windows installer, 
and I installed it on my pro on my uh, computer. Um, after that, you'll want to go to the Alpha Terminal website. Uh, there's a bit more of an updated URL I'll provide in the uh, description. I'll provide it to both the, to both of these. Um, there, you'll want to go to the downloads, and you'll want to download the ino file for Arduino, uh, which you can download here. Uh, once downloaded, you'll want to open up the Arduino IDE. And mine's already open, but I'll go ahead and show you. And you'll want to open the sketch and search for that INO that you downloaded. Once it's downloaded, you'll see all this. You don't really have to worry about what this shows. Uh, this is just the firmware that will be flashed onto your Arduino. Um, you'll want to look at, you'll want to, depending on your board, you want to select the Arduino Nano board, and then you want to select the processor type for uploading. Uh, some of them, or the newer ones at least, need the top, top selection, and some of the other ones will require the old bootloader. You'll just have to figure out which one yours requires by uh, trying to upload it, and if it fails, then switch. Uh, next, you want to switch. You'll want to check what COM ports are currently being used, because once we plug it in the uh, Arduino, a new COM port will show up, and obviously it's not going to be labeled uh, ACOM or OFFCOM or anything like that. So in my case, I don't have mine plugged in right now. Um, so once, so we'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and plug in your your Alpha AlphaCom. And once it's plugged in, you'll go back to the tools and you'll select a new port. And in this case, I've already had mine selected previously, so it tends to pop up and automatically select it. Um, in your case, just like I said, watch out for which one shows up and then select it. Once you've done that, you just need to press upload. And it'll go and compile the sketch and upload it to your Arduino. If any errors happen during the uploading process, it'll show up down here. And if you do have issues, like I said, first try selecting, making sure the COM port is correctly selected and the processor is also there. Or the, the correct processor is selected. Uh, but if it did work, you'll get the done uploading icon or, or text. And at that point, you'll go ahead and be able to try out if you're through the serial monitor if it worked. And uh, just to try it out, for an AlphaCom, you need to get with the uh, Arduino serial, you'll need to initialize it using a V10000 uh, uh, code. And at that point, you can tell that the Arduino is working because this text will appear. And while connected, this, this type of text will show up, but it's nothing to worry about. It's just um, what happens whenever it's just going through its loops. And when it's un plugged in and not working, uh, or if you unplug it, sometimes this will show up but with a negative. Um, so you'll, I'll, I'll link a, uh, for using the serial monitor, you'll use the Humulus website, uh, the converter there. Um, let me pull that up real quick. <clears throat> All right, so the Humulus converter, which I'll have linked in the description, uh, is at this location. What you'll wanna do is take the um, and select which device you're using. So in this case, I'm using a, uh, well, I'm using a original. So I'm selecting the digital, oops, not that one, Digital Monster OG. So I'll take this code and I'll copy it and I'll open up the terminal again and send it. It'll take a second sometimes for it to get there because it's going through loops. Once you have it, uh, you can connect your device, which I'll do now. And you'll want to take your device and go to the battle option. And on the digit on the OGs, uh, there's nothing else to do other than clicking battle. And you'll want to connect the signal wire to the front pin, like I said, and the and the ground pin to the back one. And once you connect it up to your device, you'll press B to initialize. Or I guess view V1s you, you don't have to, but I do. Since V1 means that it will initiate itself. 
So I guess don't listen to me. And at that point, you'll see that you got this code that you'll take and you'll copy. And you'll put it into the Humulus converter. And you can take off the T, um, but you can. I think you can leave it on this converter, and then you'll just press convert, and that'll bring it over to a code that can be sent to someone else's Arduino. And then whenever they send you the code, so say you take this, you'll just once again open up the terminal, and then click send. And at that point, this is V2 code, so you'll have to initialize it yourself by pressing B when doing battles. Um, I'm sure I got that first part wrong. So V1 is the device the Arduino will initiate and V2s are you initiate. This will matter for things like the C because most of them are, I think they're all V1s uh, because they have to be initiated by the other device. So that's all for this part. So then we'll go ahead and uh, to use the alpha terminal, you'll want to completely close this the Arduino turn, uh, application, and you'll want to, for me, to get my device, my AlphaCom free from the port free, I'll unplug it and I'll replug it back in. And that should make it free. So you'll want to go to do the Alpha uh, Terminal uh, application, you'll want to download it for Windows. You can download, download it for, our, for Android. Um, the steps are about the same for usage, but the UI is different. So I'll go. You can go ahead and follow me on the Windows version. So you just want to open up your Alpha Terminal website, and it will start searching for your Arduino. It can take a little bit to find it, depending on how many devices are plugged into your system. So in my case, I had quite a few showing up. So it will take a moment or two. Once it's found it, it'll go to this screen saying installing, and you'll be connected at this point. Do not disconnect your AlphaCom, else you'll have to follow this, uh, these steps again. In this case, we'll go ahead and try the same thing as last time, which is Digital Monster Original, and you'll want to press scan. And you'll want to connect your device to your, your ACOM to your Digivice, once again doing the same steps of connecting the red wire or the data wire that you use for A3 to the front pin of your Digivice and the ground pin to the back pin of your Digivice. In this case, uh, unlike the other solution, the, uh, the battle or whatever item you uh, select for operation, it will either error out or just not show anything as if it didn't do anything because you, we're using an inert code for this step. So nothing counts towards your uh, battles like the other uh, Arduino terminal way. Uh, so now you'll have this uh, encrypted code, which is unreadable, and this is for trying to keep uh, hacking down, because with the other way, you can see exactly what was sent from the Digivice, which means you can technically change your stats for your Digi Digimon. So you'll just want to, uh, for sending to somebody else, you'll you can copy this, and once you get their code, you can send it yourself again. And you'll send and connect the same way, and once it's done, a new code will appear here, and that is the outcome of the battle or operation you did. So when in battles, if somebody sends you a code and then you battle, you'll get a new code, and you'll send that new code to them to then for them now to battle. There's a lot of different options that you can choose, and you can see them here, and all of them uh, you should understand how to do for the fact of if you've ever connected it to another device for, the, for them. So... I don't think there's anything else to further go over, so I hope this is understanding. If you have any other questions, you can go to the Discord and go to the help section and ask, and a lot of people will be there to help you.